So the second thing is how to crimp an ethernet cord. So for crimping an ethernet cord, first you would strip the ethernet cord by using this tool, which is a wire stripper. And it has this blade in the middle and then also has this ability to rotate. So basically you would put the ethernet cord into the slot here and then you would spin the wire cutter and that would strip the insulation. Then you would have these exposed wires inside of the exposed uh, area that you just stripped the wire from. And by looking at the other side of the wire, you can figure out which order you need to put the wire in. So from for this wire, for example, if you look at the order, it goes light orange, orange, light green, blue, light blue, green, light brown, and brown. So when you're using this other side that you had stripped, you would separate the wire so that it is in that exact order. And some tips that I use when, um, before I'm about to crimp the wire is I first flatten the wire so that it is very um, dense and compact so it's easier to put into this compactor head. And then also it is much easier to put it into the um, connector head if you cut all the wire to the same length because that way when there's a wire that's shorter or longer when you put it into this connector sometimes it could bend and go into the wrong slot in these connectors so therefore cutting it the same length makes it easier for that and so you can use like a wire cutter for that then after when everything is in the right place then you insert the wire that's in the correct order into the connector and when that is all set, like this example that I have prepared, you use a crimping device and you place it in and then you just press down when it makes the clicking noise, let go. Now you have a crimped ethernet cord. And then you can just use wire cutters to cut, trim the edge because you wouldn't want this exposed wire to be out and you want it to be very flush like this end. And then after that, you're good to go. And now you have crimped ethernet cords.